Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is Legendary Iron Man uh, run of uh, this wonderful mod. I came to a conclusion and the problem is, despite the fact that I would want to do it, there are a couple of disadvantages so we're not going to continue with this mission. Instead we're going to abort and we're going to go for the scientists. Uh, let me talk you through the logic. Um, number one. Uh, the smash and grab mission really gives you a lot of a lot of um, supplies but at the same time uh, if you if you fail it uh, you are a at risk uh, that you are losing um, your operators which we uh, wouldn't want uh, to let happen B even if we would be successful um, within the area the level of vigilance uh, would ri uh, rise and thus more advance theoretically or the strength of the region uh, theoretically would go up so having a mission that at best if we go in there with 22 to 25 um, enemies at best yields like what uh, one crate or two crates that really wouldn't make much sense because we are um, erasing the alert of advent uh, without gaining much uh, for it the vip is worth uh, currently 105 intel we can't even buy a second one um, uh, a second scientist now and in the second month i think there are already 150 supply and they are going up like 50 supply per month so they are really uh, expensive the the further you get into the campaign which means we either if we get all of the crates here get like what 50 supply maybe or we're getting a vip so it's a much higher target uh, which in, uh, unfortunately also means we're uh, we've um, we cannot do the other mission One important factor for uh, on Long War uh, 2 is to know when to fight and which missions to fight. We just got 40 supplies, which is fantastic. Let's continue to excavate. You can see we're getting quite a few supplies just from the excavation, right? Um, The resistance ring yeah once we get uh, the guerrilla tactics school we might need some more supplies just to get the upgrades um, that we need right away and as for the other uh, buildings you know what i would want to get a laboratory relatively soon and a training facility but the problem is going to be we're so we're going to be super short on cash the only income source that we do have are smash and grabs and um, basically the excavations. That's pretty much it, plus black market. And that has been the first month. As you can see, we earned a whooping zero, but we got a lot done during the first month. We have received intel about current alien activities, but we don't know which. With our success, comes the opportunity for you to assign us so, 15% more rewards or will recovery uh, faster. Both of them are not really super exciting. Might as well take the um, small additional reward, on, uh, reward bonus on the missions. There we go. So we just got done with infiltrating uh, this year. Five more hours are left uh, open, but that's good enough. Uh, we got to rescue uh, the VIP. Uh, we're only fighting against seven to nine enemies. Um, fixed evil spot and we're starting concealed, uh, which means we got to rescue that VIP from uh, his or her cell. Let's see how we're uh, going to do that. 
And here we go. So, I just figured if we were to win this mission and the other VIP mission, we would start month number two. So, mind you, after one month, we would start month number two with three scientists and two um, uh, engineers, which is phenomenal for long war um, measures that is just extraordinary. Copy that. Let's move down and hope that we're not running into a civilian. I have visual. There's a drone over there. Our target person is uh, literally over there, which means we could almost ignore the drone. As long as we're not running into the civilians, we should be fine. Got it. Double moving with everyone. If we play our cards right, we do not need to engage anyone. Of course, if the drone unfortunately flies into us, things change, but... I guess we should be fine. It's a gigantic map, but we also have 22 turns, so I think we're just going to make our way through this area or even over here and then take this stair. There seems to be an entry here where you can directly go into the cell block. All right, that makes sense. Let's use the Shinobi to scout ahead. Okay, so if we do have a group of Edwin over here and a drone over here, might as well just squeeze our way through here. It's a dangerous endeavor because if we're being caught in the middle between both of uh, these uh, packs, we might be spotted out. But the reward would be good because um, good if we are successfully pulling it off, we might go to the um, uh, to the prisoner without even pulling a single pack. Yeah, they are slowly but surely closing up to us. But you can see since they are, they move really slow, their current alarm rating is on the lowest possible scale. And that's a real thing here in Long War. The higher the alarm rating, um, the faster they are moving, but also higher the alarm rating, the more likely that they can take reaction shots right away, even if it's uh, even if they have just been discovered. Okay, so moving up here isn't the worst idea. Of course, it's uh, the reason why I moved everyone close. It is dangerous as if we pull, so, uh, if we trigger someone up there, we lose our concealment, and as such, we would have another pack flanking us. That's awfully close. We might need to fight them. I think, we, I think they have us, us cornered right here. Yeah, they do. Okay, that's unfortunate. I 
I guess we're going with one. Uh, I could maybe wait, 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 wait. Flamethrower. Flamethrower ambushes are a thing. We're not using the rocket launcher. Let's go on Overwatch. We're going to take one shot and then see how many of them survive. Overwatch. And this here is the opener. 74%. Yeah, we can always run and gun. Might as well use a grenade. A grenade is uh, causing uh, is causing more attention. This here could be a clean kill. I do have an idea. Let's do two overwatches. And we're going to go in with a grenade. Worst case scenario, the Shinobi needs to get out of stealth. No, we killed uh, one right away. It's good. A lot of damage with that grenade. And we should be able to kill this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? Started here, then his animation kind of made him walk to here, and then he took like one step to not trigger Overwatch. Sure. I've been detected. Uh, yep. Just run off the map, dude. Keep on running. Visual on the good. I am surprised how far he could run. And we got ourselves a suppressor. The suppressor is good, and I sincerely hope that we're not outside of the map now. So we're still going to take that uh, staircase, uh, that uh, piece of staircase is here. It's actually a good uh, good method to get up. The problem with these long staircases is there's no cover and they are also a little bit wonky um, because they are, they are not really good for overwatch. Sometimes they do not work out. If you stand on them and you're going for an overwatch, it usually turns out to not work. Got it. Nice peel. Affirmative. Covering now. Okay. Reinforcements are imminent. Moving out. That is a bad sign. Advent forces sighted. Can't get all the way up to there, but we can run and gun. And take out this guy here. Got some advent here. The drone is not a problem, as long as we're not triggering more packs. So we got a suppressor. Now get another laser sight. I like it.
Okay, we can suppress him. That's good. We could also simply move up and kill him. Thanks to our enormous speed. It's actually better to play. Love it. And there is a certain chance that we can kill the drone. Yeah, but it was minor. So we killed one pack with two, another pack with two, and now we got a drone and another drone. And there is a sectoid in here, interestingly enough. Gotta be careful, there's a sectoid in there. Don't want to pull him as well. Here. Okay, so that should be a kill, but we can. Yeah, no, the grenade would not 100% kill it. If we're hitting it, this is a kill. Wonderful. Okay, great. Keep in mind there is a sector right down there. We don't want to trigger him. Minimum damage for the grenade, not optimal. There is a certain chance that we actually can kill it. No, nope. didn't work out. Almost 50% chance uh, that we could have killed it. There is the last pack, by the way. Let's hope the disorientation uh, will fade away. Because now we can use the flamethrower. Finally. Okay. Reinforcements are still on their way. We can either use the flamethrower or. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Going hot. Multiple targets down. <laughs> All right, Overwatch is gone. Let's take care uh, of the sectoid, thanks to uh, its melee vulnerability. We can easy... I was about to say we can easily kill it. I can handle that. Moving up here and now it's only the sectoid left over. Let's see if we could theoretically hit it with 
a stun. 50-50. Yep, there we go. Okay, reinforcements are coming in. Which means we're quickly dispatching the sector here. By the way, the last uh, unit that uh, was alive, we have just killed all of uh, the original units that have been here. Moving closer. By the way, we got to free him and then still move all the way up to here. Okay, that's fine. Reloading and overwatching. Another overwatch, overwatch, reload and overwatch. So the reinforcements should drop really close to our position. And I am expecting that we kill at least one of them, maybe even both. Okay, that's one down. And that's the second one down. The team is really doing well. Like this mission is... It feels like a breeze. Moving in, the Shinobi I think has by far the best hack rating. Okay, we got two pieces of loot and killed everyone. So I think we're done here. And we could even get a small supply of ca uh, a small uh, cache of supplies or an extensive cache of uh, intel. Oh my god, did we just successfully uh, get that one as well? Not sure, it was close. It might have been just about enough. Like I said, not sure. All right, moving up, moving up, moving up, and moving up. Yeah, I think we can get out of here. Don't want to farm any reinforcements, so we're simply going to leave here. I think we did not even have an injury, so that might be a flawless mission. Getting out of here. 
Nice. Yeah, flawless mission, killed everyone. Very good. And here we go again. Pretty solid. The team knocked it out of the park. So we will get lightning reflexes for our um, for our uh, frontliners because we want to deal with overwatches and having a ranger with uh, lightning reflexes and assault rather uh, makes a lot of a difference. Um, as for him, I like to get fire in the hole just to get the uh, rockets more accurate which also means he can move and then take a shot with the rockets. The rockets are a bit tricky. Uh, usually once you have moved they are very very inaccurate. We're going to go with competitiveness on uh, Lieutenant uh, uh, on the gunner, Kim Thomas. Um, competitiveness allows us to parry melee attacks and 10 dodge on top of it is a really, really good defensive stat and we need defensive stats. And we're going full out uh, Blade Master and a lot of the Blade Master out uh, for uh, our Shinobi. Uh, covert is going to be a thing yeah, and a couple of other things as well. Laser sight, suppressor, and an Illyrium core. The core itself is worth 20. And look at that, another research time uh, reduction. Plus a bond, which is always nice. So we got an Avenger power super good drop the game is giving us one treat after the other currently 40 supplies um, might need a little bit more wait a second recruited in west africa so oh here we go So let's continue to recruit. Um, we do have two missions going on here. As soon as they are done, we are we're done with recruiting as well. Over here, we can already switch back to Intel. The next VIP is soon going to be extracted, which is phenomenal. So we're really having a strong start here. Hybrid materials just have been researched. That allows us uh, to gain tracer rounds. They are good, but I uh, prefer the armor penetrating rounds. Hasmus vests, the best um, vests in the entire game in my personal opinion. So now we got to get laser weapons and we're missing three Illyrium crystals. Uh, let's render this Illyrium core here, which is going to give us exactly these three crystals. And once that's done, uh, we can start the laser weapon research. There we go another uh, infiltration that's done and we're going to start the mission um, if we're successful we we will get our third scientist uh, which for the beginning of month two is something that I think is almost like the best uh, possible play out that you could uh, that you could ask for the only thing that we could do on top now is to essentially buy another scientist from the black market to go completely crazy and uh, have four scientists from the get-go um, to speed up research. But 
the fact that we're already like starting laser weapons right away now that's a pretty strong uh, sign we are doing well in the research curve anyways thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content as always leave a comment down below um, and don't forget to hit a thumbs up see you into the next mission bye bye